Salutations, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues, the A to Z series, which we're playing as the good old glow bugs. As you can see on screen, we are beating up Black Canyon because why not? We made a little bit of encirclement. We've lost 200 while destroying 2,000. We have 1,000 political power, and we have no manpower. But you know what? This is Old World Blues. You're expected to have no manpower at some point, uh, or throughout the entire campaign. Regardless, we're here to destroy our enemies, have a good time, and say, hey, why did you try to make us your puppet? Or why did you make us your puppet? period, at the beginning of the campaign. Um, so, we're doing well. We're doing quite well, I would say. Um, yeah. Can you guys help out here? That would be great. That would be fantastic, as we are trying to smash all of our enemies, but we'll see if we end up doing so or not. We'll also send our spies and make sure that we can help lower resistance where we're at right now. Oh, hello. Not ideal. But it might give us a chance to encircle and destroy them here. Uh, you guys figure out what's going on here and beat the crap out of them. I did not realize that there was an open hole here. Not good. Keep these guys in place. Find them. Beat the crap out of them. The works. You know. Black Canyon has no more manpower, just like us. They're just as bad as us now. They might have resources, but they have no manpower. Which I guess technically is a resource, so I guess they do have that, but still. Uh, if you can do that, that'd be fantastic. And let the special forces move around as much as they really need to. Ooh. How much are we... Close to capitulating at all? Hopefully not. Um, Fort Collins losing Boulder would probably be pretty bad for us. Should have probably realized that when we first started this. My bad. Um, yeah, whoops. Uh, quickly hurry up and take back that before we lose our capital and our capital city. That would not be good. Alright, so hopefully we won't capitulate here. And we'll do this, this, this too. Did not realize that we had uh, such a large opening here. Good, good, good. Stay there, and then you're gonna do that. There you go. Just in case. Everyone else, keep going. See what you can do. Keep these guys in place. Well, if you can. Well, our capital's cut off. Uh, if anything, we definitely want Fort Collins. Ooh. Playing a really risky game here. Up now. So we almost lost our capital. And we got four columns. Good. Get in there. Get in there. Nice, nice, nice. Man, we're looking at the AI. It's kind of stupid. Hey, doing okay. Doing alright so far. Only panicking me just a little bit. That's all. Good. Good boy. Alrighty, you're alrighty. Anti-partisan. Oh boy. Okay, so we almost got capitulated, but we actually took them, took everything we need back. Whew, man, that would have been bad. Start the episode, and we're already losing, and we capitulate. That would be really bad for us. But hey, we got off in it. Quite a few enemy divisions here, so I'm not feeling too bad about it. Hey, look at that. Fantastic. In the meantime, you guys are actually going to come up here. Let's see if we can deal with them up there. Because right now, you could kill it off 9,000 divisions. Look got five left. That's actually incredible. If that's the case, I wouldn't actually go to war with Farson. Maybe you are fighting a lot of guys. That's a lot of dudes to fight at the same time. They can do it, but still. Just go on in and destroy them all. That's all we ask, you know. Uh, as we would like to make some cores, but it's taken a while. We don't have a lot of money. Um, Sisters of Steel have done very well, so we're not going to go up north. Because we need a trade node still. But we'll wait and see what happens. And that vision devices are also very good. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Hurry up, take them out. That'd be great. And get to the penitentiary. Maybe we'll go to War of the Ouroboros. Let's see how Eagle Rock does. Eagle Rock's not bad. We have to watch out for the blimps, though. They made a lot of those. But Farsal in general shouldn't be too bad. Hey, we got him. Good job. Nice job. Nice job, guys. Nope. Nope. How much money do we have? We have 64. 16 appointments. Nice. And we're demobilizing. Not nice. 46%, 63%. Hey, 51 is not bad. We took some time to get there, though. Rollins, eh? 
or a Burros, because I do want Evil Rock as well. Let's see what we can do, and let's see what we can do here. No. Napoleonic Warfare, yes. Some Trishman Speed, why not? Lost 21,000, holy crap, that's insane. They're Mormons of strong faith, but their faith has got them killed off, almost all killed off. That's uh, kind of crazy to think about. Oh, Jeffrey, huh? Doing quite well here. Let's see, help him out. Good, good, good. We've done 8%. Not as much as I would like. Gear would be nice. Yes, please. So hopefully we'll need even less because of how effective our guys will hopefully be. And since we're here on those rioters, I'm going to go and throw some doggos on them Helps with suppression, right? Alright, technically we don't have to, actually. Or just hurt their armor. We don't have to. Um, with ghoul divisions. Do this, mobile cams, we get more trickle back, better organization, more HP. I'm okay with that. I will allow that. And we're gonna go with wait wasteland? Wasteland tactics. Special forces, thank you. Thank you. High side guns. Super maneuverability. We like being maneuverable. Flexible, some might say. Um you been would have been smart if you went here instead and made an encirclement, but whatever. And where are we at now? 11 12%. Well, we've definitely caught up to them. Hinchy Barnes has done very well. Good job, Hinchy. Hey, we got him. Hopefully, we can take at least something here. Boop. Cut them off. They might go to war with us for this, but I don't really care. And we get a nothing. <laughs> I was gonna say we get a ship, but we get no ship. All right. Evil rock trade note. That'd be nice. Can't quite get that. Hopefully they don't come fighting for us. And no, you train. All right. Well, looks like they got no one here. Not enough people, at least. Wow. Undying hatred. Go the biggest little river, huh? Best and brightest. Wow. A lot of green. Doesn't mean it's any good, but they're probably at least halfway decent. So they've lost 9,000. My god. Jesus. I assume we've got like no manpower here. We've got a little bit. We'll take whatever we can off them. Start coring stuff around us and whatnot too, you know. I recommend doing that. Good. Ah, oh, beautiful. Take whatever we can from them. Hey, we're more than more war score participation than the other people's now. Very good, very good. We got him. This will cut them all off from them trying to take things. Hopefully. Come on, let us take it. Good. Can we at least take the ships? Ah, good. Now they're gonna war with us. Oh, look at 51 ships. Not bad. Train for some reason because we still need you, I guess, or whatever. Uh, oh, that's dead horses. So Eagle Rock is gonna have a difficult time trying to come over here if they want to do so. I actually might go to war with dead horses instead. Uh, let's see. You guys just go here. It's fine. 
32 division is nice. 34. Boop, ba -da -bop. There you go. Or Now see what happens when we go to war with them. Welcome back, everybody. It's now Eagle Rock time. We've actually pushed over We're using our special forces. They've lost about 1,000. We've lost 62. I'm going to let uh, these guys take care of it for now. Um, up next, the Great Confederation is gigantic. Holy crap. From Lone Tree to the north, all the way down to the uh, Dead Horses to Sorrows, just for a stinking trade node. These guys have a ton of divisions. Um, so we might go the other direction and beat up with their dogs first. We've not been able to core anything yet either, which kind of does suck, but it is what it is. We're going to let our special forces move on down to the south. Let our infantry just kind of stay there. We'll be we'll be fine. Probably in the end. We've already maxed out our land auction, which is great. They are out of manpower. Yes, they are, which is good. we got Met X, which would be very beneficial for us. And, of course, Recon is good, too. Help them out, please. Um, everyone else is kind of on the line. Just waiting for the special forces to do whatever they need to. Pokemon who is ready to replace us, maybe? It doesn't matter if one shall fall in the skies, we shall always have two or more. Oh, to take the place. Refined air theory. Ah, thanks for gifted pilots who experienced less accidents and develop old and new techniques to help maneuver our opponents in the sky. Lightning raids. It's not bad. On the job training. Self sufficient pilots. Uh, arms merchants contracts. That doesn't make sense for us. Refined air theory. Sure, why not? Less air accidents chance. Freedom of movement. Unwavering courage. Simper invicta. Mission control, air support protection, veteran instructors. Let's go with freedom of movement. Um, our superior agility allows us to outmaneuver enemy craft and anti air installations, allowing us to move more freely and gain the upper hand in engagements. Why not? Because we can. And now we're once again out of money. <sighs> Man, we're always out of money. Always, always, always. Let's see what we got here. Better doggos? Sure. I do want to use enforcers too, if we possibly can. Um, that'd be nice. Let the special forces lead the way. Good. Help them out. These guys are starting to move around a little bit more, which is not ideal. But that means we can actually use more guys around here. Uh, you're not moving, son. You're also not moving here, too. Good, good, good. Oh, not ideal. Now we're going in there. Not bad. Losses, 2000s, not bad. Happy August, everybody. Oh, no. You guys can help out there, too. Now that I'm all attack, do we have the Sapper done? We do not, unfortunately. Now we're not, not going to win, but the main goal is for them to just kind of stay there and help hold out. You go here, go up there, see if you can encircle these guys, cut them off from the capital, which would be nice. Once again, tons of air XP because Eagle Rock does have blimps, so they're actually pretty good on attack and defense. So, something to consider while we're doing this. Not bad, and these guys have already been cut off. Nice. Don't give them an escape. Oh, and they're going to die. Fantastic. We're propaganda, yes. Good, good, good. See what we can do. Level 5 still is very nice. And we've won here. And now we're going to win here and here and here. Maybe. Hopefully. We'll see. Naval Warfare, probably not going to be using that one. And that's all right. Go here. Really, we came this way just for a simple trade node. That's all I really actually wanted out of all this. Tons of air XP that we literally do not need. Let's keep these guys in place. You can actually break over there. That'd be kind of impressive, I'm not going to lie. Mm, slowly losing, not good, not ideal. Incinerators, yes. Oh, and now they're forcing the defense as well, huh? Yeah, 
That's going to cost him. That's really going to cost him, probably. Four hundred losses versus five thousand. Can we finally start coring something here, please? Yes. It's not much. It's really not much at all. Holy oak, not bad. But they did help out a little bit, probably. Even more recovery rate. Keep throwing in more divisions. I'm going back in. Yeah, help out here. Does that help out with... Yes, compliance here too. That would be nice once we get up there. Good. Special Project Pursuit is awesome. Slowly getting there. And I'm gonna force the attack. Because I'm tired of waiting. Lost 700 versus 6,000 now. Ooh, now they're forcing the defense. Interesting move. Oh, yeah, they, they definitely can't replace their losses. Of course, we can't either, really, but you know, whatever. Don't tell them that. Oops. My bad. That's a fork. Oh, we actually pushed in. Look at that. Nice job. Good. Go. Fall of Chichen Itza. So be it. Pushing in even more now. Good. Good ideal. Very quite ideal. Don't let it move. Do not let them move at all. And we got him. Go to war by a few weeks. Well, all right. Um, should be able to get there fast enough. Especially when it's uh, coring, coring a little bit more. That'd be nice. Red Mountain. So we have cord two. Still no manpower, but what do you expect from us? Of course, you get fast compliance, I think, if you're a piece, is it? Base value, high compliance, West End pacification. 50% uh, more if, if we're a piece, so. It does benefit us to get more compliance while we're a piece. And we still got a little more than a week here. Uh, flamethrowers, incinerators. Makeshift stuff here with uh, that one, too. Nice. And they attack us immediately. Go figure. Interesting move. Very interesting move. Not sure if I would agree doing that, but whatever. They started winning in some one place, but they didn't work out so far. Good. Oof. Losses for them are brutal. Hey, finally got a trade node. Thank God. Even though we're pretty much done with this campaign. They might attack us again. Uh, Eagle Rock, because that's a new, their unique focus tree, which is great. Wow, that's a lot of different errors we can use. Level 8 trade note is pretty darn good, not gonna lie. Waste that intuition. Uh, the gang. The gang's all here. Ninety two, ninety three, fifty seven. 57. It just takes a lot of time to get it all done, you know. Military statistics. Yeah, this is pretty much going to sink him. Yeah. 
a little bit of force defense here and there. 2,000 losses, 200 some odd for us. Not bad. Not bad whatsoever. 1,800 man po uh, political power. It's so much to have at one time and not even really use it. <clears throat> Good. Well, got two more cord. That's awesome. 2,000 losses. Kinda tanky though. Rocket launchers would be nice. And we got them. I think I might end it there, because where are we at in this campaign? It, it's hard to move. It really is very hard to move. We have to fight the Legion. We would have to fight Nebraska. We'd have to fight the gigantic Sisters of Steel. Or we have to fight these guys over here, the Great Confederation. Now we can move south a little bit, take out the rest of Colorado, but eh, that's pretty much where we're at. Oh, and the NCR is getting the crap beaten out of them. Look at that. Nice. But hey, if you enjoyed this short campaign, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know in the description or in the comments below whether you like Yu-Gi-Oh or not, because that's our uh, you know, four-star glow bug here. And I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.